Lincoln Lady Railer Basketball on WLCN 96.3 FM and streaming live at WLCNonline.com is brought to you by Grow Incorporated, Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois, Memorial Sports Care at Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital, State Farm Agent Adam Osborne, Lincoln Heating and Cooling, Connect Construction, Joe Ryan Country Financial, Chicago Street Rentals, Logan County Sheriff Steve Nichols, and by the Holiday Inn Express of Lincoln. Show. Thank you, Growl. Absolutely. Couldn't do it without them, without all our sponsors. No, well, these sponsors take care of us. I, I, there's a lot of celebrities in the crowd tonight, in addition to yourself. Yes, yes. I've, I've seen uh, Gavin Block out here wandering around a little bit. we got RT Ryan Thomas down there. Hopper's down there. A lot of these uh, ex Raiders coming back tonight to watch the game. And uh, that, the, the Raider sophomores. It looked like they're going to be exciting the next couple of years, too, I'll tell you that. Yeah, absolutely. They uh, handled Griffin very easily in the game prior to this one. And uh, as you said, they should. Uh, looks like they'll be a lot of fun to watch for the next couple of years. Well, we're one minute away from game time. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with the tip-off. Welcome back to Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium. Joe Ryan, Lloyd Kirby, and we're getting ready for the starting lineups right now for SHG and the Lady Raiders. SHG is going to start number 12, Katie Eck, a 5'10 junior. Number 13, Peyton Boyer, 5'7 sophomore. Number 14, Olivia Holscher, a 5'5 sophomore. Anna Lois, a 5'9 senior. And Julie Staten, a 5'11 senior. And here come the Lady Railers. Morgan Lawling, a 5'7 junior. Number five, Kaylin Froby, a 5'7 junior. Roby leading the Lady Railers, 17 points a game, five rebounds a game. Number 10, Haley Williams, a 5'6 senior. The Haley Williams. Senior starter. Oh, Haley adding uh, five and a half points a game. Number 14, Kennedy Lulling, a 5'6 junior. The other half of the Can K scoring factory are averaging 14.3 points a game. And number 15, the 5'9 junior, Grace Bossingham. Bossingham adding 2.8 points per game, also 3.4 rebounds per game. And uh, we are about set for action. About ready to go. Head coach Taylor Richmond's got them all fired up there along with Todd Keeler and August Kassan. I don't see August down there. But he's somewhere, and he's helping these Lady Raiders out. Yeah, he's got to be somewhere, I'm sure. Head coach over at SHG is Steve Klunick. Assisted by Stephanie Christopolakis and Mike Definitely. Sacred Heart comes into the game three and three overall, two and three in the Central State Eight. Uh, Lady Railers come in with a four and six mark and one and two overall, or one and two in the Central State Eight. Ball's up and the tip goes to SHG. Peyton Boyer is going to handle it out front, and here come the Cyclones. Pressure out front from the Railers. Run around. I think SHG is going to settle in and just see what Lincoln's going to do on defense. No changes on that. They work the ball around out front. This will be Boyer drives the lane back outside. This is she perfectly happy right now. Work the ball around, see what's going on inside. Nice cut and drive to the baseline. That's Katie Eck. It's going to drop down, and SHG leads 2-0. Here come the Raiders. Kenny Lolling out front. Going to get things going to Froby. Froby guarded well out there. Nice job as the Raiders work the ball around. Back out front. And here comes Kennedy. She's going to stop and pop. And that's going to be a three. Lincoln leads 3-2. And we played a minute. Kennedy Lawling picking up where she left off last game where she had 29 points 
on the Lady Railers' last contest. She was hot the, last time. That's absolutely. Right. And great defense by the Lady Railers. They're going to get a 10-second violation, turn the ball over, and SHG is going to take a timeout. SHG is going to take a timeout right now. Yeah. We'll keep it here right now. Yeah, Sacred uh, Heart looked like they uh, weren't quite sure what to do against the Lady Railers press pressure defense. Um, tried to get the ball in the middle and then tried to dribble up against it, which is pretty much the worst thing you can do against its own press, especially with uh, uh, one person out front on the point. Um, coaches always say you can pass quicker than you can dribble. They want uh, to uh, a lot of L's out here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, head coach Steve Klunick. Called him right over, and uh, let's get things squared away. Yeah, in no uncertain terms, uh, he uh, spelled out what he wanted done. So we'll <laughs> see if they can adjust. Here we go. Anna Lois to inbound it. She gets the ball into Holscher. Herschel pressured. The Raiders all over it. Oh, an errant pass, but they did get the ball back. Controlled by Voyer. Or Eck, I mean. And here come the Raiders on a turnover. Lolling gets it in the corner for Obi. She's going to pop a three, and it's good. Raiders lead 6-2. to two. And that's pretty much exactly what you'd like to see as a Lady Railer fan. A pair of three-pointers, one from Kennedy Lolling, one from Froby. Linking up 6-2. SHG ball on the court, out of bounds. Gonna, SHG's going to retain possession of the ball. A nice hustle over there by Morgan Lolling, getting down on the court, uh, trying to make a steal. Voyer's going to inbound it. That's into Holscher. Move it over to Voyer. Now they go deep in the corner. Back out. Taking a nice, slow, steady pace as they work the ball around the perimeter. Jumper by Eck. Off. Rebound. Oh, nice rebound. Good rebound. Did get that. Was that Lois in rebound? Sometimes those ponytails get in the way. I can't read numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. You never think about it until you do the game. Yeah, but all exactly. of a sudden you can't see a number. <laughs> uh... Froby call for a quick foul, and uh, SHG's going to inbound under their basket. They trail 6-2, 5-59, remaining in the first quarter. Ball inside, and we're going to have another foul. Looks like that's probably going to jump over onto Morgan Lowing, I believe. She's going to be called for the hack on the arm. Mm -hmm. uh, two quick fouls on the Lady Railers, and... Uh, Sacred Heart Griffin is doing exactly what you want to do on offense. You want to work it around the perimeter, try and spread the zone out. As I said, same thing against the press. You can pass against it more quickly than you can dribble against it. So it's good to work the ball around the outside, try and get an um, overload on one side of the defense. It's just uh, they're, they're a step slow or something. Lady Railers are very quick and adjusting, and not a whole lot of openings there for Sacred Heart. Julie Stanton hits both free throws, and the Raiders bring it up. Kenny Lolling out front over to Proby. Probably crosses over, tries to penetrate, steps back outside, and now there's going to be a block foul. A blocking foul, I believe that's going to be on Olivia Holscher. The 5'5 five, five sophomore. Williams will inbound it. She goes to Lowling. Kennedy out front, going to set things up. Sacred switch to man-to-man -man defense now. Lady Railer is going to run some motion offense. Lolling on the side, dumps inside to Bosscan, back out front. Froby back to Lolling in the corner, off the iron, no good. Battle for rebound, taken down by Lois. SHG tries to move the ball quickly, and it's another turnover on an errant pass. Here come the Raiders. Kenny Lolling going to bring it up. He's out front, going to set the Raiders up. Coach Richmond yelling some directions. Sitting out front, Bossingham now way out front. The Railers move the ball around. They go to Froby in the corner. She likes the three. No, won't go. Big rebound. Nice job by Morgan Lowling. Right back up and in. And the Raiders lead eight to four. SHG bringing the ball up. It's a nice job by that, isn't it? Komnick. Josh Komnick over here with <laughs> the voice of the Railers. Got a nice goatee going on, too. I kind of like that look you've got. SHG moving the ball around out front. Looking for that sweet spot, I think. Again. In the corner, that's Eck again. She's going to go up off the iron, no good. Rebound battle for SHG's going to come down with it. Peyton Boyer inside. No, won't go. Rebound. And here we go the other direction. Froby gets it quickly down to Kennedy DeLawling. Back up to Morgan. Oh, she shot the three, wouldn't go down. The rebound's down to Staten. 
comes Olivia Holzer all the way to the hoop. Did not go. Good defense by the Raiders. And this, eight four. This pace definitely favors Lincoln right now. Yeah, Lincoln wants to run. Bossian way out front gets to Froby. Froby liked the three. Now she penetrates a little bit, dumps it back out to Kennedy. Up, no good. Rebound to Eck, and I believe they're going to call Froby over the back. And it looked like she reached in on the rebound there. That'll be her second foul. 3.55 remaining in the second, in the first quarter. Lincoln leads 8-4. Lincoln now going to make an adjustment, bring in Haley Hicks. Froby's going to go over and sit down. Emma Komchek also checked in during that uh, break in the action. Here comes Emma Komchek. SHG bringing the ball up. Moving around, they go in the middle, back outside. Down the lane they go, up and good. And that is Peyton Boyer, the 5'7 sophomore, lays it up. And it's 8'6 rail splitters. 3.35 to go in the first. Lolling brings the ball up. Kennedy Lolling, she's guarded out. They're coming way out and guard. They're not going to give up any threes, are they? They're all over. Now Morgan Lolling, she steps, dumps the ball in the lane, and it's going to be taken away by Voyer. They dish the ball out. They go back inside to Voyer. She nice bounce pass inside. Nice job by SSG working the ball around. That's going to be Julie Stanton. Staten, they're calling her. 5'11 senior. I'm sure they're probably right because he asked the coach over there. Staten. Yeah, they did some research. Yeah. Uh, SHG looking a lot better on offense now, bringing the ball up a little bit quicker. Um, looking, their passes are a lot more crisp. Um, Lady Railers need to be sure to get back and uh, get into their zone and try and contest those passing lanes. SSG, they're coming way out on the Raiders. They've heard about those threes. They're not going to give them to them. They go over on the corner. That's Hicks. She's filling it up. No good. Rebound down to Lois. Here come the Cyclones moving the ball. Looking down, look in the corner. That is Staten. Back out front. They go over in the corner to Eck. Eck great, looking to move. And great defense underneath by Grace Bossingham. Sacred Heart was trying to get it inside, and Grace stepped around in front of the, the, uh, the uh, Sacred Heart player, didn't allow the interior pass. And as a result, the Cyclones had to pass it around the outside. And uh, so far, Lincoln is not giving up much inside despite their being outsized. We can have a couple of substitutions coming in. Now we go in the corner. Three, no good. Off the iron. Big rebound. Big rebound by SHG. Go back in the corner. Up. No good. Another rebound. And this is what Coach talks about. We've got to get, take care of those second chances. Quit giving them to them. Right now, SHG is getting a lot of second chances. Yeah, that's a uh, disadvantage of playing a zone defense is if you're playing man-to-man, -man, you know who you box out when the ball goes up. Zone defense, you need to look around, find someone to box out. Lady Railers not Travel doing that right now. No call. And boom. And that is Katie Eck. She likes to shoot that three. And SHG has taken the lead 11-8. 140 to go in the first quarter. Lolling brings it up. Lolling on the move. It's the ball over to Williams. Williams back to Lolling. They dump inside. Haley dumps inside. Konchik, no. They go back outside. Haley up. No good. Haley Williams with a miss. And SHG wants to run. Here they go. Nice outlet pass down. Oh, missed the layup. That was Eck with a miss. Ball thrown away. That should belong. Oh, I thought the Railers might get that. That's mm -hmm. going to stay with SHG. Yeah, Lady Railers a little out of sync on their offense. Sacred Heart is uh, playing the man-to-man. -man. I think the Lady Railers have gotten used to seeing a zone defense. Team's trying to plug up the middle and trying to contest the outside shots. So uh, Lady Railers need to adjust man-to-man, -man, set a few more screens, try and free up some uh, players on offense. Leah Schneider going to come in, the 6-1 freshman, and I think uh, – Coach Richmond wants to get some more rebounds. She's going to have to get those second chances taken away from SHG, and she's going to bring in, put some more size on the court. SHG working the ball around. They love to work around. They jump inside. No, they bring it back out. Heck, now it's come over this side. She'll shoot the three. Off, no good. And the rebound, Konchik. She's trying to get out of there with it. She does. Here comes Kennedy Dalling. She's going to go down underneath the block. Ball was stolen away. Good hustle by SHG. Nice job. They did a good job. Nice save over there, SHG. That was Boyer on the save. And now they work their offense. 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. SHG leads 11 to 8. Looks like Sacred Heart's going to be content to try and take the last shot of the quarter. The Raiders would say purple, right? Purple. 
Is that what they'd say? <laughs> well, that scores table, we learn a lot of stuff down there. Nice crossover by Holcher. Back out front. Let's try to hold them here, Lady Reelers. Oh, there we go. Travel out front. And Sacred Heart looking to try and get the ball inside. 7.8 seconds left in the first quarter and uh, got a little eager. Moved the feet before putting the dribble down. Lady Reelers will have a chance to uh, either pull within one or tie it up. Travel on Holscher, and here come the Reelers. Haley Hicks gets the ball inside to Konchik. Konchik's going to bring it up. It's a block. From block, they go back across the middle. That ball's going to be stolen. Oh, they're not going to be able to get it off. That's okay. You know what? 11-8, we're okay. Good first half. Staying around within three, first quarter. Uh, we're going to take a break. The Lady Raiders trail 11-8. We'll be right back. He leads the Lady Raiders 11-8. Not a bad quarter for the Raiders. We're all we're all right. Yeah, Haley we're Hicks to inbound, and she's going to inbound to Froby. Froby's going to bring it up. Maneuvering around, looking around. She finds Lolling, Kennedy Lolling. They dump inside to Schreiner. No good. <laughs> Didn't say, oh, off the iron. Kennedy Lolling couldn't hit the three, and SHG wants to run. Here they go. That's X. She's going to go all the way down and lay it up. She's picking up right where she left off last quarter. Eck leads all scorers now with seven points, and Sacred Heart is up by five. I didn't put that on the score. Oh, she missed that? What happened? How did we miss that? <laughs> I was going by what you were eight. She must have missed the layup and they got the rebound. I thought she had it. I looked down. It's the last time I listened to you. I looked down to pick up the number. She must have missed the layup. Oh, there they've added the points. Okay, she got it. They stole the inbound pass. I know you wonder how he missed that, but it's easily done. <laughs> the ponytail got in the way, I think. I don't like those ponytails. Rebound by Froby. Froby's going to bring it up. She goes deep underneath. Wide open. Nice job. And that's going to be Block. Lauren Block. 5'9", senior gets on the board. Raiders trail 13-10. One blocks brother in the crowd tonight. A Lincoln legend. Just like this guy standing behind me, Connick, a legend. Oh, oh my. Tell you what, that's Katie Eck, and she's hot. And I'll tell you what, that was several feet beyond the three-point arc. They might have given her four on that. Shot that from the Lincoln bench. Froby brings it up, crosses the half court. Line, she dribbles, goes right down the paint, layup, nice play, all the way down and through. 16-12, Lincoln trails, 6-20 to go in the second quarter. SHG breaking that Lincoln press with ease, all the way down and a layup, no good. Rebound block, nice job. She's ball with Froby, Froby now going to look around. Bring it up all by herself as the Railers set up some offense, here they go. This is Hicks, moving around, it's the ball over to Kennedy, <laughs> to Froby. And the block is taking a beating down underneath from uh, Abby Antonacci. Block. Oh, and there we go. And here comes Eck again with a steal and a layup. Katie Eck. She's having a big first half. SHG leads 18 to 12. Falling out front. It's a screen from Block. It's ball over Froby. Froby dribbles in the paint. It's back outside to Hicks. Hicks over to Lolling. Lolling dumps in a block. Go up. Get down. Oh. Nice move to the basket by Lauren Block. She's fouled. She's going to go to the line and shoot two. I didn't catch who the foul's on. Did you? Oh. Yeah, I believe it was on uh, Anna, Anna Lewis. Lewis. Number 24, Anna Lewis. Block at the line. Lincoln trails 18 to 12. First one up, rolls around and won't go down. Morgan Lolly going to come back in the game. Haley Hicks going to sit down. Block looks like she's ready to go. I know her dad's been working in the driveway with her on these. Up, got it to go. Nothing but net. Lincoln Trill's 18 to 13. Ooh, SHG almost turned it over. Would have been a big play for us. So they maneuver around the press. They do a nice job. Get the ball down, and now they're gonna set up. They go right in the paint, up and good, and that is Peyton Boyer, 5'7 sophomore. Lincoln bringing the ball up. Kennedy Lolling sitting on the side. We're going to let the Raiders set it up. Coach Richmond with the call. Froby sitting outside that three-point lane. Drives to the middle. Sit back to Morgan. Morgan's going to drive in, up, and oh, she had a nice layup. Wouldn't go down. Great rebound back up and missed by uh, Schneider. Lincoln trails 20-17 for 48 remaining. Nice play. 
SHG working the ball around. Warrior with the backdoor cut gets another uh, basket there for Sacred Heart Griffin. She's got five points in the quarter, but Katie Eck is uh, on fire. She yeah. has seven points this quarter, 12 for the game thus far. And uh, Sacred Heart leads 22 to 13. As we get this time out, let's talk about the, uh, the Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois. Helping people, changing lives. America's Poverty Fighting Network. For details on everything Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois has to offer, Please phone 217-732-2159. As you mentioned, Lincoln uh, looking a little out of sorts on offense. Sacred throwing a man-to-man -man defense at him. Lincoln trying to run, uh, get the ball on the wing and uh, run some screens, but uh, Lincoln screeners need to get perpendicular to the, bath, to the path of the cutter. And uh, right now they are just kind of going off at an angle, a uh, little bit of gap and allowing the defender to slide through. Need to be a little crisper when setting the screens. Railers bring it up. Lolling thought about taking a three. She didn't. Now over Sister Morgan. Now they go to Froby. Froby wants to drive that lane. She gets in the paint. She may have traveled, but no call. Oh, they didn't call. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a, looked like she hippity hopped a little bit, but we'll take it. Yeah, NBA, she would have been fine, but uh, had a little little shuffle step there. The referee got it. Sacred Heart ball. SHG is a attack this full court pressure by the Railers. They do an excellent job of breaking it. Here they go. And now Lincoln's got to get back on defense as they move it around. Jumper no good. Nice rebound on by Schneider. Looking to get an outlet pass and she does. Morgan down to Kennedy. Kennedy's going to sit outside and look around. Pick up her dribble now. Someone needs to come to the ball. There we Kennedy. go. Ferobi comes over to get it. Sits outside top of the key. They'll be trying to spread this defense out. And SHG, they play a good defense. Kennedy back over. They go in the front. Block. She was thinking about taking that three. They go deep over the corner. It's Kennedy up. No, off the front of the iron. Block going for a rebound. Schneider going for a rebound. It's going to bounce out of bounds. A little SHG ball. Great hustle by the Lady Raiders. Great hustle. Come up with the ball. Also, great sportsmanship by Lauren Block. As soon as she uh, ran into the Sacred Heart player and the ball bounced out of bounds, she immediately went so over. They changed that call. Tap. Lady Raiders going to keep the ball. Oh, all right. Well, that's even better. And still good sportsmanship by Lauren Block. <laughs> well, maybe she knew she got the call over here. <laughs> Froby with the ball. She takes the inbound pass. She wants to drive. Nope. Steps back outside. Back over to Morgan. Back to Froby. Froby directing traffic now. Watched her brother play in the first game. He's a good ball player. Go back over to Morgan. She dumps, tried to dump inside. It's deflected. Touched. Official Ramlow says that ball was touched by SHG. They're going to bring Eck back in. I kind of like when she was sitting down, but mm. she's going to come back in the game. They charge the batteries a little bit. Look for the Lady Railers to go inside now off this play. Leah Schneider to inbound. We get the ball in. We're in the corner there, Lolling. The block to Froby. Froby's going to try three. We need her to get hot. Off the iron, no good. A battle for the rebounds in there. SHG comes out with it. That's Holcher. They bring the ball up. Mm. And I think they're going to call Kenny Lolling with a push. I think she pushed on uh, Elise Ransdell. Yeah, she came up uh, trying to cut off the, the drive as the ball was in the air and uh, just overstepped a little bit, bumped into her, and got whistled for her first foul of the game. Grace Bossingham's going to come into the ball game. I believe it. Schneider's going to take a seat. Grace is going to come in. It's a kick on the play. Good defense. Lady Railers trail 22 13. The approach three minutes in the second quarter. SHG pretty patient. Lady Railer switching it up to a man-to-man -man defense now, giving Sacred Heart a different look. Froby on the rebound. She's going to bring it up herself, crosses half court, looks around. Now she might go to the paint, dumps outside to Lolling. Kennedy takes a look, doesn't take it. Now goes back in the corner, Froby. Froby drives the lane, pulls up the jumper, no good. Eck the rebound. X a good ball player. She brings it up herself, and she sets up the cyclone offense. They go in the corner. There's a three that bounces around, and that was Holcher on the shot. I believe they got Morgan Lawling for the foul. Point foul number two, Morgan Lawling. That is her third. Team foul number six. She getting three shots? Was that three-point shot? I believe it was a three, so at the line for Sacred Heart is Olivia Holcher. She misses the first one. 
We'll take this time to thank State Farm agent and Lincoln Community High School alumni grad Adam Osborne for personal assistance. You can give Adam a call at 309-688-7070 or go online to adamosborne.com. He's got a couple of nieces out here. The Lolling Twins. Thought he might be here tonight. I don't see him. He, he's going to be a guest on here one of these days and tell us all about State Farm. 24-13, SHG leads. Here come the Railers. And the Hulkster hits two out of the three free throws. Lincoln looking to cut into the lead. Griffin has it up to a uh, double-digit lead now. Kobe goes behind her back. Trying to pull. I'll tell you what, SHG, this is a good ball club. They play great defense. They get back well. They shoot well. Hmm. Off the mark a little bit there by Froby. SHG. As we approach two minutes in the second quarter. 24-13. The Cyclones. Nice steal by Block. They get the ball down to Kennedy Lawling. She holds it back up now. Steps up for a jumper. Won't go down. A great board right there by Voyer. I think she was a little too open there. Didn't quite think she would be yeah. so open for the shot. Sometimes that's a toughest shot to make. Yeah, exactly. You stand there and think about it. And just uh, off the side of the iron, Sacred Heart now working it on offense. They go deep in the corner. They better get on X. She's been hot. There go. Nice defense inside. That'll be Bossingham. No, I'm sorry. Kennedy Lawling. Yep, Kennedy Lawling. The ball went to the interior to the high post area. And Lawling was right, uh, right on her shadow. As soon as the Sacred Heart player brought it down around her uh, waist area, Lawling was all over it, held ball on the alternating possession. It will be Cyclone ball. Holcher inbounds. Cyclone set up an offense. They look. Drives right up in the paint. That was Boyer. Out of bounds. It'll belong to the Railers. Lincoln Trails, 24-13, 1.28 to go in the second quarter. The Raiders, you know what, if they were, we're just not shooting well. If we were, this game's tighter. We haven't, we haven't oh, been yeah. able to get a shot to go down. Absolutely, I mean, Lincoln, these past few games, their, their, three, their overall field goal percentage has been much higher. It's resulted in uh, five wins in the last six games or four wins in the last five games. Roby, a spinning move off, no good. And again, great position by Holter to get that ball. The ball is tipped, it will remain SHG ball. 102 Lady. left in the second quarter. Just like all year, Lady Railers live by the uh, outside shot, but they also die by it. And right now, they're, the shots aren't falling, and Sacred Heart taking advantage, has an 11 point lead with one minute left in the first half. And that's Eck, oh, in and out. Oh, and Railers had the rebound, lost it. They go down inside, they go back outside, and now a nice shot up. Uh, Boyer driving the lane, lays it in, and they've doubled the score, 26 to 13. Cyclones over the Railers. Yeah, Sacred Heart is on an 8-0 run here to close out the first half. Yeah, we're all right. We need to shoot better in the second half. If they get some shots to drop, we're right in this thing. Hicks out front with the ball, goes to Froby. Froby looking around. Lady Railers need to work on their spacing. They've got a, kind of a traffic jam on one side of the floor. Kenny Lawling looking around. She goes to Hicks at the top of the key. Hicks does a nice fake, drives into the paint. Now they go block. She wants to go inside. Nope, she goes back outside. That ball's tipped. Ramlow says it's tipped, and it will stay Lady Railer ball. 6.2 seconds left in the second quarter, and the Lady Raiders, Railers trail. 26 to 13. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> Cyclone oh, bringing in some uh, extra size here at the last 6.2 seconds, trying to plug up the middle a little bit more. Lincoln, I'm sure they've got an out of bounds play from the sideline here where they can spot up for a three. There you go. Bossingham gets it right back to Kennedy Lawling. She drives around to the other side, wants to take the three, dumps it to Hicks. Hicks is going to bomb one. Get down. Oh. Won't go down. That's going to be the end of the second quarter. We're going to head into halftime with the Cyclones leading the Railers 26 to 13. We're gonna take a break and we'll be back with more halftime. 